If you linger after dark in downtown Cincinnati on September 28th, do not be surprised if you should find yourself surrounded by hordes of the undead. Starting around 7.30 that evening, two separate packs of animated corpses are scheduled to dearly depart from the Freedom Center and shuffle their way toward Fountain Square, where all kinds of mayhem is set to begin. I'm speaking, of course, about the 2013 Cincinnati Zombie Walk. And here to tell us more about how to prepare for this year's invasion is Rocky Dahl and Rev D from the Cincinnati Zombie Walk. Thanks for joining me. Hi, thank you for having us. So for how many years has Cincinnati had to endure this infestation that comes every year? The invasion, this is our fifth annual zombie walk. We start outside of the Freedom Center and there's an east and west invasion route and we have to send upon Fountain Square from an east and west route. Is there a difference between the east side zombie and the west side zombie, what scientists might refer to as the Vivian's Morcha Madeira and the Vivian's Morcha Delhi? No, it's not sectional like that. It's just that there's two different routes and you go up through the east blocks or the west blocks, but hit Fountain Square at the same time. Along with the Cincinnati Stars will be there and they kill zombies for charity and so they're mixing with the group and if they see any zombies get out of hand, they're ready to uh, take care of that. So crowd control. Yeah. <laughs> I understand that these groups are made up of men and women, but even children have been yes. seen. This is family fun. The whole key from the beginning is it's all about community. It's about the Cincinnati community. And the thing that we're most proud of is bringing families together, all ages, bring your family, bring your kids, very family friendly, and come out and most important is have fun. How long roughly does it take for the hordes of zombies to shuffle from the Freedom Center to Fountain Square? Well, after doing this for many years, I've learned this one thing, that there's people that walk fast because they're excited and they want to get to Fountain Square. And then there's people that walk slower I've done it both ways, and it can be as quick as a half an hour or as long as 45 minutes. Once the infected reach the Fountain Square containment zone, what kind of things can we expect to find? Them? Once you get to Fountain Square, you will notice that there will be two amazing DJs, DJ Plague Daddy and DJ Chris Favorite. And it will be followed up by a thriller dance from Rose Jackson right before my band, Hematosis, goes on. When there's also, I, I've read that there's some sort of personal appearances by some famous people dressed up as zombies. You can get your picture taken with various zombie models. Is that correct? Oh, yes. Talking about the very famous Mortified Zombabe. You talk more yes. about her. She's amazing. She is a Vampire Freaks model, and she will be there taking photos with everybody, and she's very well known in the community for her modeling. Rose Jackson. Rose Jackson as well, yes. Doing her famous last year, she did the little thriller on the side, taught everyone how to do the thriller dance and actually did a performance last year. She even has more in store this year, doesn't she? Yes, it is gonna be absolutely amazing. And then Drew Prophet, he's emceeing the event. We have to make sure we mention him. He's out in the community in different club events and promotes and does a lot. And he's gonna emcee it again this year. He did it last year and did a wonderful job emceeing it. Yes, he keeps all the zombies in line. Well, I understand somehow that the Free Store Food Bank is involved. How are they involved with all this? The Free Store Food Bank, they're amazing. I love what they represent, what they do for the community, raise hunger awareness in the Cincinnati community. Anyway, when we start off the event, there's going to be a Free Store Food Bank truck. That's where they take it, and we also take it at Fountain Square. For people wanting to participate in this year's zombie walk, how should they best prepare? Should they dress at home or... Are there places at the Freedom Center for them to get ready? Because there is no places to get ready at the Freedom Center. So it's best for them to get home. And don't worry, oh, you know, is it going to be too much of this? Go all out. People come to these zombie walk to showcase their talents. I've seen people not dress at all and bring their family just to kind of see. They're, those are the people observing and looking around. And then there's people that go all out and do the whole full zombie and the walk and the whole thing. So please do it at home. Go all out if you want. It's not required. Just bring your family if you want, but come out and have fun. And then you mentioned afterwards at Fountain Square you have bands and different things participating. You mentioned the band Hematosis. What are they all about? Hematosis is considered a alternative rock electronica band. We are signed by Hal Shinto Records. This year we just released our new album, Sin, and you can 
pick that up through Hematosis on Facebook. The album is fairly dark, and we plan on bringing an epic showcase to the people for the visualization of what we have to bring to the table. So we are very excited to be slamming some beats for everybody in the Cincinnati area. And that performance starts at 10 o'clock? 10 o'clock till 11 o'clock, yes. Fantastic. The Cincinnati Zombie Walk of this year starts at 7.30 at the Freedom Center on Saturday, September 28th. I've had the pleasure of speaking with Rocky Doll and Rev D of this year's Cincinnati Zombie Walk. To links to more information of how you can best prepare for this year's assembly of The Walking Dead, please visit us at wbxu.org. For Around Cincinnati, I'm Jim Nolan.